So today's video is going to be a review and first impression on the Duval Spin Facial Brush and it looks like this. If you know who Gabby DiMartino is on YouTube from Nikki and Gabby, then you would know that she raves about this spin brush and she does do a lot of sponsored posts for this company. So if you want to know if this is even worth your money or not, then please keep on watching. But before we get on with the video, don't forget to subscribe and push your bell notifications to notify you whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to follow me on any other social medias, I'll have that floating somewhere on the screen as well as linked down below the description box. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. I bought this Duval Spin Facial Brush from, well, Duval, and I do watch Gabby DiMartino on Fancy Vlogs by Gab or Nikki and Gabby, and I do um, see her rave about this spin brush, and she does do a lot of sponsored posts for this. So I was wondering, does it work? Does does Is it worth the money? Is it worth my time I'm the type of person who is like oh I'll just wash my face with my hands because they're free like why do I need a spin why do I need a spin brush and even if I did want a spin brush they sell it at TJ Maxx Target anywhere for really really cheap price so what's so special about the Duval facial spin brush and I'm here to tell you my thoughts on it so um, I will show you a clip of me and my first impressions when I received the package. Okay, so I just received this in the mail and first impression is not very good so far because the box kind of came out hella ratchet. Um, like this, first of all, this was not taped. Like neither side was taped on the box. It was just put inside a bubble bag. Um, I think that's what they're called. But basically, yeah, it looks like this. This is the box. Um, like that. And um, these are the five cleaning brushes that are sup supposed to be inside of the box. The problem I have with this is this, before I used Gabby DiMartino's code, GD Black, to get, I think, like 75% off, this was retailing for over a hundred dollars like over a hundred dollars for this thing and let me tell you based on the packaging and everything it is starting to look like what i can just buy at like tj maxx which is not a bad thing at tj maxx but it's like twenty dollars or something at tj maxx not a hundred but anyways there was no tape here there's like a flap right here that was not even like closed properly look it's like damaged right here um, and like I'm just more surprised that there was no tape right here or on the either side just to protect what's inside of it which makes me like wonder like I've never had a package that came to me like this so that's so I was just confused by that and this is what it looks like on the inside which I have another question with this item so when it came to me I don't understand why the why the only things that are wrapped within the packaging sorry you can hear my puppy sneezing um, but I don't understand why the only things wrapped inside of the packaging is just the the electric handle part and the thing to hold it but there's no protection or anything to cover the actual brushes that are going to be touching your skin like this one's just chilling out here so are all of these and like these are supposed to be cleaning my face so it's like how why wouldn't these be protected inside of the packaging like and just the feeling of it I will tell you right now it definitely does not feel like it should be a hundred dollars at all like it's so cheap and I kind of saw that coming based on the brand branding of it and how Gabby DiMartino's code is always there for 75% off but I just I just 
don't understand how you're gonna retail it for over a hundred dollars for something that definitely is as cheap as something that I could find at like TJ Maxx like you guys this is so cheap like so my first impressions of taking it out of the box and getting it out of the box is not good not good so far um, I will be testing it out and trying it out but I'm not happy with it and another thing is that just to let you guys know that this does not come with batteries so you have to get you have to make sure you have batteries at home double a batteries and it takes four it needs four batteries I'm gonna put the batteries in and try and turn it on and I'm going to show you guys how strong or how fast the spin is and I'll get back to you this is the on button so you turn it on I have put I put one of the heads on it already but this is how fast it goes the yeah so this is how fast it goes and then this top button is to change it to another speed and it's two different speeds in my opinion it's not that different but but you can kind of hear it and then this is obviously just the on and off button so basically that's it um, I don't know how long the batteries are supposed to last or if this electric brush use up batteries really fast or not I will keep that posted maybe in the description box depending on when I post this or how long I use it for but yeah so those are the little two buttons that you would get and then obviously your different heads that you would have in this for your body your faces and um, this says it's a pumice applicator I don't know what in the world that means but it just feels like like a really really doesn't feel like a rock I mean it kind of feels like one of those like really really rough seashells that you would find at the beach that's what it feels like but a little bit more of a plasticky feel obviously because it's not a real seashell or whatever and then this one is it's a crude polish accessory which also it feels a little bit smoother than that but to be completely honest with you I don't know what that means I don't know what it's for I probably will not be using any of those because I don't know what that is probably just be using these two brushes and maybe the body brush probably not who knows use prior to exfoliating oh here we go pumice stone attachment can be used on rough parts of your skin like feet and elbows oh this attachment should never be used on your face oh, okay good to know um, crude polish this works as an emery board and has a fine grit file that is gentle yet effective file in one direction to shape your nail and get whoa that's so weird so this is for your nails okay well good thing I've read but basically I'm going to try using them today and I'll show you how it goes basically that was a clip of me showing you me opening the box and seeing when I got this spin brush unfortunately I was very very underwhelmed as you can say and as you can see um, this originally technically retails for I believe over a hundred dollars like I being a fancy vlog by Gab fan and follower I do I did use her code which was GD Black. In case you watch this video and you do want to purchase this, I will have that coupon code up here just so you don't waste your money and buy for a hundred something dollars just to let you know. But um, it was underwhelming. This was definitely not worth over a hundred dollars for at all in my opinion. Okay, um, when you use when you use Gabby DiMartino's code, it does drop it down to about 40 bucks after shipping, which was still a little bit expensive, but it was doable for me. So I purchased it, and as you saw, that was the box it came in. It this wasn't really wrapped very well. None of the heads, none of the heads were wrapped. It was just all out, which to me felt like it was a sanitary problem in my opinion. But yeah. So, um, and I will show you a first impression of me trying it in this clip.
This is one of the products that I use. And then um, sometimes I do you go in with some St. Ives. So this one is the Radiant Skin Scrub. But yeah, basically I, it always changes. I'm gonna start with the egg cleansing foam on my face. I'm gonna wet my face first. Um, I'm gonna put one of the heads on. Like I said, between these two, they look exactly the same to me. The bristles are different, I think. Or am I just wanting to see things? Like this one kind of looks a little bit more clear than this one. But I don't know which one is which. Based on the box, it didn't really show me very well. So basically, you just, you just pushes it in, clicks it like this, I think. And then you just push the on button, obviously, like I showed you earlier. And then you got the different speeds. So I'm going to turn it off for a minute. And then I'm going to put my egg cleansing foam on it. I'm going to put about that much. Turn it on. I'm going to do the high speed and see how that works. Interesting. It kind of tickles. It is a little fun though. I feel like it definitely makes your skincare routine a little bit more luxe and fun. So that's the one good thing in my opinion, I feel. The only bad thing is I feel like I didn't distribute the product very well onto the brush. Therefore, like, there's like hardly anything on my forehead. But... It does make my face tingle. Let me do like the lower speed. Let's see how that feels. Oh! Cool. All right, now that we're done, I'm gonna wash my face. That actually was kind of nice. I am pleasantly surprised. My skin does feel a little tingly and very soft, or softer than normal. Ooh. So as you saw, that um, is me trying it and seeing the, both the spins that you can do. There's two different sets of spin cycles on this brush. Now it does come with four heads. Comes with this big spin brush for your body to wash your body while you're taking a shower. It comes with these two um, facial brushes. Now these two facial brushes as you saw when I first opened this box I thought they were the exact same but they are definitely not. Um, it's kind of hard to show on camera but one of the brushes has like a clear bristles on it and the other one's a pure white bristle. The pure white bristle is a little bit more not mm, a little bit more harsher on the skin so this is more of an exfoliant as and then the one that is a little bit more transparent bristles this one's a little bit more softer on the skin so if you have very sensitive skin I I would recommend using the clear one first and then working your way to the the white one but yeah so my thoughts um, as you saw in the video, I do want to change things up a bit. Um, I have used this for the last two weeks and weirdly enough, it actually did, did help me. It did help me with my skin. I did have a zit or a pimple right here and it's completely gone. You can still see um, the acne scar because I am a picker, unfortunately. But you, the, the zit itself did disappear. Um, rather quickly. Um, I will say that I do use some uh, form of acne treatment, um, spot acne treatment as well, but even with that, I feel like this using this spin brush definitely made it go away a lot faster because obviously I don't have all the dirty oils coming from my hands just messing with it all the time. So I will be showing you some of the skincare products that I did use on my face and I did use with the facial brush heads. So one of the things that I did use throughout these couple of weeks is the St. Ives Radiant Skin Scrub that looks like this. Um, I do love using a scrub once in a while, but I will say that if you try to use it with the spin brush, a lot of the beads or the, not beads, I guess this one's sugar, but a lot, basically a lot of the beads um, that are in the scrub does get in between your bristles and doesn't stay on top so it doesn't really work very well with the spin brush just to let you know that 
So in my opinion, probably if you are going to be using a spin brush, don't use it with a scrub. If you're going to use a scrub, just use your hands or maybe another different product that I don't know about. I don't know. Um, another product that I did use is the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk. In order to take off my face makeup, I do, and my um, all my makeup actually, I do use extra virgin olive oil to break down all of the makeup first. And then I use a makeup removing wipe to take off all of that residue off. And then I use this deep cleansing milk to take off the last bit of makeup off of my face. So for this one, I did use the spin brushes. Um, I, I typically would use the clear one just so it's a little bit more softer on my skin and it gets my skin started for the um, skincare routine that I'm about to do. And I believe that this one worked very, very well with the spin brush. I definitely do like using the spin brush because, I don't know, I think it might be a psychological thing. It made, a, made my skin routine a little bit more fun having something to hold and keeping it on one part of my face and then moving to another. It definitely lets me take more time and um, in depth with my skincare routine as opposed to just using my hands because I can get tired and I'm like oh okay let's just wash it off which is probably not the best for your skincare routine so in that sense I say that this is a really good product to have but again that pro can also be used for any spin facial brush it doesn't just have to be for this one so if you're looking for a fa if you're looking for a facial spin brush for that pro it could definitely be any facial spin brush it doesn't have to be this one another item that I did show in the video that I used was this Korean egg cleansing foam but I did run out of that um, a couple days after I filmed that video so I did purchase a different facial cleansing um, a facial cleanser and this one is the Neutrogena deep clean cream cleanser that I did get at Target um, but yeah so I do use this one I have been using this for about a week now using the facial spin brush and I will say it's amazing okay taking the spin brush and using it with this cleanser on my face in comparison I have used this before and whenever I use this cleanser when I just use my hands to wash my face it does feel like it's doing something but not as much as using it with a spin brush when I use it with a spin brush I can feel the cooling effect on my face because I just took the time with the spin brush to clean every portion of my face um, and giving it the time that it needs for every portion of my face instead of just going mm -mm, okay I'm done kind of thing so in that sense, I believe that this spin brush does work very well with this product and probably a lot of other products um, that you might personally use in your skincare routine. Um, another thing that I would like to say about the spin brush though is the body is the body head or body body head head this one <laughs> for your body. I don't like this. I did not like this I'm the type of person when I take a bath I don't use a loofah I don't I can't use a loofah either I use one of those exfoliating gloves to wash my body because I feel like it just feels like I'm actually scrubbing the dirt and actually cleaning my body as opposed to just lathering myself with some bubbles and then that's it but that's just my personal choice but because I use an exfoliating glove to wash my body when I used this it was very underwhelming it is very very soft so if you have very very sensitive skin then this might work out for you but for me for my body who's very used to using those exfoliating uh, gloves um, this didn't feel like it was doing anything it was literally just taking a very soft feather with soap on it and just going like this which like I said for some people that might be a pro but for me it definitely didn't feel like I was washing anything so I do not like this so basically I'm spending $40 if you're not using the code over a hundred dollars just for these two heads um, so in my opinion I don't think that's really worth it again unless you're using the GD black I have not used any other facial spin brush in my life 
So I don't have anything else to compare it to. If you would like me to do a review on other spin brushes, then let me know down below in the comments section. But um, nonetheless, I don't think that it's a bad buy. I think that if you wanted to try it and if you're curious and you've never tried a facial brush before, then I think it is a good purchase. Um, but, and it definitely, like I said, it definitely did help me with my pimple that I had on my face and it did make me feel like I'm having the most out of my skincare routine but like I said earlier I don't know if that's because of this specific spin brush or the fact that I am using a spin brush instead of my hands and that is it thank you guys so much for watching comment down below what you think about the spin brush if you have it or if you're going to be getting it this Christmas for you or for someone else. Um, let me know down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and I cannot wait to see you guys next time.